Well, just a few months into this pandemic, the Better Business Bureau was warning us about a rise in puppy scams. More people wanted pets as they were spending more time at home and scammers took advantage of that. But unfortunately, the issue is still a problem more than a year later. In the past last six months, local consumers reported 48 puppy scams to the Better Business Bureau serving Eastern Michigan. And those scams resulted in about $67,000 in losses. 19 of those scams were reported within the last three months alone. And those added up to nearly $31,250 in losses. A woman from White Lake Township knows this feeling of loss all too well. She got scammed just within the last month, and she contacted me to share her story so you don't waste your money. This sweetly shot, well-edited video was just one of the ways my teacupchihuahuapuppies.com hooked Holly Cott Wiki of White Lake Township. What made you fall in love with these chihuahuas? Brandon. When I looked at the puppies, Brandon was perfect. After Brandon, she also fell for Charles and Gray. Three 10-week-old Chihuahua puppies the site claimed could be shipped worldwide from this self-described trusted and reputable breeder. So you actually talked with this alleged breeder on the phone? Several times. She made a deposit through Zelle, hitting her daily limit. So the guy asked her to set up a different Zelle account through another bank to pay the rest. But Chase stopped the payment, flagging it as fraud. I was mad. I was really mad. People see these puppies online and instantly fall in love. That's why the scam works. Lieutenant Matthew Ivory with White Lake Township Police says scammers live on the dark net. Explain how hard it is to track these scammers down. Scam artists use use things like virtual private networks, so it makes tracking their IP addresses so hard that they it literally could be anywhere in the world. Kotwicki reported the fraud to police and the Better Business Bureau. How much have you seen puppy scams increase over the last few years? We have seen from 2017 to 2020, puppy scams have grown six times more than 2017. So, and the loss in 2020 is estimated at over $3 million. That's a lot of money for a non-existent dog. As for the three puppies in this case, a month later, they remain available. There's still 10 weeks, which is amazing. They haven't changed. Fortunately, Cottonwicky's family adopted two real pups from a reputable Michigan breeder. We lost $1,000, the initial deposit, but I called you because I trust the way that you would portray this story. I'm not embarrassed that I lost it. I am more upset that it could happen again and there's no way to prevent it. We want to thank Holly for sharing her story with us. The White Lake Township Police and the BBB recommend several steps to avoid a puppy scam. First, arrange to see the puppy in person before you buy. If you can't visit the breeder for yourself, ask them to meet you with the puppy at a safe location, like a police department parking lot or lobby. And if that won't work, ask for a virtual live meetup via FaceTime or video conferencing. Also look for bad grammar or misspellings in emails or texts, big red flags there. And consider adopting from a local shelter where you can interact with the animals in person. Or of course you can find a breeder closer to home that you can visit. As always, report suspected scams to your local police department and the Better Business Bureau scam tracker because it helps them to know how many people in our area are being victims of these kinds of crimes. And if you use those money transfer apps like Zelle, that's like cash. Absolutely. Once it's gone, it's gone unless the recipient is kind enough to send it back.